in this class we are going to describe equation for sr flip flop so if you uh, you are getting so many questions on sr flip flop this may be one of your question in gate like technical exams what is the boolean expression relating to sr flip flop this is very important so generally as usual your expression for your sr flip flop can be defined by using truth table so you know uh, by using your uh, data from previous classes you know about the truth table of sr flip flop this is going to set when 10 is there in sr input so it's going to reset when we given 01 when you given 00 it's going to no change condition and when you given 11 then indeterminate state will be there that means both the next state and its complement are getting same values that is indeterminate so that's why we are not using the state but we need to use in truth table because there uh, there is a combination we need to show for that the combination if you given that combination then your circuit is going to uh, get a not determined state so now uh, for uh, getting equation i am just elaborating this uh, truth table so here i am rewriting this truth table so see here so i am writing s r and q n and q n plus 1 so this is my present state and this is my next state n dot s represent next state so now so with s r equal to 0 0 i may have q n is equal to don't care means i may have either 0 or 1 so in the same condition of s equal to 0 0 so i may have so qn may be either 0 or 1 i am just elaborating my don't cares so if qn equal to 0 your qn plus 1 is equal to qn means if qn equal to 0 you are getting same zero if qn equal to 1 you are getting same one this is the meaning of qn plus 1 is equal to qn so here i am going for 0 1 case so in 0 1 case of sr qn may be either 0 or 1 that means in q uh, sr 0 uh, 1 case qn may be either 0 or 1 so qn may be either 0 or 1 in s equal to 0 r equal to 1 case you are getting 0 that means that case is not dependent upon qn like this so you are writing just 0 0 qn may be anything if you given this so you are getting 0 so now i am taking 10 case of sr qn may be either 0 or 1 so this is also depend not dependent upon qn that means present state its next state is equal to 11 11 so finally you are having your 11 11 one state in this state qn uh, may be either 0 or 1 you are getting indeterminate state that means i am just taking like don't care here so indeterminate state means so this we are not taking i am just uh, neglecting this state so now this is the time to take uh, k map to get the expression this is the time to take k map k map for which for next state we need to take k map because for any sequential circuit next state is the our required output so every time if you want uh, any expression for any sequential circuit that you need to consider for next straight line only so for this to get this next state what are the input inputs means present inputs and present state is the inputs to get this next state so you can observe last classes we take in the reference of sr and qn qn bar so nothing but by taking s and r and qn as inputs we are defining qn plus 1 that is our required next state output of sequential circuit now i am taking my k map for i am taking k map for qn plus 1 so that is next state output of sequential circuit now our sequential circuit is sr flip flop here so i am taking Uh, uh, how many variable k map we need to consider means definitely to get this we are having three inputs that means two uh, inputs and one present state we take in as a reference to get that next state so that's why i need to consider three variable k map i am considering three variable k map here so in the three variable k map i am taking sr like this and here i am considering qn you can consider as your wish 
I am just considering like this. So, here the values may be 0, 1 and here 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Now, this is the time to place number of 1s and then grouping. So, where you are having 1 means at SR equal to 0, 0 and QN is equal to 1. SSR equal to 0, 0, QN equal to 1 means here you are having your 1. And next you are having 1 at here. See here, here you are having 1 means 1, 0 and QN equal to 0 place. So, 1, 0, QN equal to 0 plus means here, another one is here, same 1, 0 and QN is equal to 1. SR equal to 1, 0, QN equal to 1 means here you are having 1. And here you need to consider this don't cares also. So, that means here also you are getting 1, right? So, I am considering this don't cares. So, here this may be either 0 or 1 and this may be either 0 or 1. So, here I am taking 110 case and 111 case. So, here you are getting 1 at 110 case. Here also you are getting 1 at 111 case. So, that means, so SR equal to 11, QN equal to 0 case. This means here you are having a don't care. And here SR equal to 11, QN equal to 1. Here also you are having another 1 in that don't care. So, that don't cares also we are considering, not used conditions also we are considering. So, now this is the time for grouping. I am grouping this quarter and I am taking this opposite grouping for this double. So, this one and this one I am just using a double grouping with opposite grouping. So, now this is the time to write prime implicant values. So, I am just writing this prime implicant value this quarter. So, sideways uh, no combination, top wise we are having combination of two cells. So, in that one is common one represents yes. Yes is the value of this prime implicant. So, now I am uh, watching this double. For this double if you want to write the equation then uh, here sideways it is having QN, it is covering only single cell. So, QN you can take. So, top side it is covering two cells, the combination is 0, that 0 represent R bar. So, finally, your equation for Q n plus 1 may be S plus Q n R bar. This is the equation for S R flip flop. So, for example, if you are confusing to get this tabular form, in exam they given what is the output of SR flip flop when S equal to 0, R equal to 1 and present state as present state as 0. So, I am just taking this condition for example, S equal to 0, QN equal to 0 into R bar equal to 0 means you are getting 0 only. So, then I am just considering this condition now. So, that means so, S is equal to 1, QN is equal to 0 into, so here R bar equal to 1. So, 1 plus 0 you are getting 1. So, directly you are getting output. So, no need to propagate and all this if you are having this equation in your hand. So, you return the equation for your next state. So, that is S plus QN into R bar. This is a very important equation that you may get in your exams like gate. So, what is the equation for SR flip flop? So, this is the equation.